Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Easter slash springtime makeup tutorial using pinks and purples. And most of the products I'm using today are relatively inexpensive drugstore products. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, stay tuned at the end. I'm going to be showing you my inspiration for the makeup look and both of my Easter outfits as well. Thanks for watching. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and just clip my hair back so that it's out of the way. And to start, I'm going to use this NYX Jumbo Pencil, and this is the one in lavender, and it's just a really light purple. I'm going to go ahead and kind of dot that just all over my lid. And then you can blend this out with the brush, but for time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger. Next, I'm going to start, and I'm just going to do um, this NYX eyeshadow in White Pearl. And I just want, like, you know, a fat shader brush. This one happens to be from e.l.f., and it's just their eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to take a little of it, dab it on that inside corner of my eye in the tear duct, and then the very inner part of my eyelid. And that's not only going to give that highlight look, um, it's going to draw attention to your eye, but it's also going to start our fading. Okay. Next, I'm going to use um, this other NYX single, and it's called Baby Pink, and it's kind of just a really nice bubblegum pink, but it's got a blue undertone to it. And I'm going to put this over the rest of my eyelid. I want to do a little blending trick. So I'm going to dab one side of my brush in that pink and then I'm going to flip my brush over. So I've got one side with pink and this side with nothing on I'm going to put back in the white. And with the white I'm just going to flick it this way, you know, towards the pink. And with the pink I'm going to flick it back towards the white. And that's going to help make a really nice even blend between those two colors. Okay, next I'm going to take just another small eyeshadow brush. And this is a Sonia Kashuk one just from Target. You can see it just... And I'm going to take this NYX single, if I can get it open, in purple. I'm going to stab that right here, kind of starting. I have really hooded eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I like to do this kind of right, <clears throat> excuse me, where my brow or my um, orbital bone is, right there where my eye bone. So not necessarily in the crease, kind of right above it. Um, and I just want to dot that on for right now, just to get that color on. Let me do the same thing over here. And you'll notice I'm not turning my brush with my eye. I'm keeping it flat against my face right here. And then as I go up, it stays the same. And what that's going to do is kind of create a fanning effect to where it's really thin on this inner corner and then widens out this way. And I'm sorry, I'm not really looking in the camera. I'm kind of looking in my mirror to do this. Okay, so once I've got that on, I'm just going to go ahead and I want to brush this up and kind of blend. You know, like windshield wiper. And just kind of blend it up so that that line is not so harsh. I also want to kind of connect this down here to um, the corner of my eyelids. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so we still have kind of harsh lines in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NYX. This is the For Your Eyes Only. This is the brown eye palette. It says blue eye palette on the front. On the back it says brown. And on the box it's brown. So trust me, it's brown. 
and as you can see the colors, it's the brown palette. So what I'm going to do first actually is I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight and I'm going to take this second one in, it's the lightest color in the palette, and I want a really wide fluffy brush and this is just a Bare Essentials, one of those makeup brushes. I'm just going to go ahead and add that highlight here. And that, you can see, is going to kind of create a greater contrast between um, my highlight and that purple color, and that's okay. We're going to work with that. Okay, so next I want to use this purple. It's like a periwinkly purple right underneath the yellow here. And I want just um, like a dome brush, but a really fluffy one. And I'm going to take that and between my highlight and that harsh purple line, I'm just going to go back in circles and windshield wipers and kind of blend out that harsh line. Okay, so now that that's all kind of blended, um, we did lose a little bit of detail. Excuse me. It's from um, just that Essence of Beauty from CVS brush. Just that um, in the set, there's two. There's a little one and a big one, and this is the bigger crease brush. I'm just going to go back through with that purple and kind of create my outer V. Now, if you want a more dramatic eye, you can use a black. Um, NYX black is a really good one or just any matte black eyeshadow that you have. But because it's Easter and I'm trying to go for, you know, like a soft pastel look and especially for church, um, I definitely don't want anything too harsh or dramatic. But that's just my personal taste. So I'm just going to work this outer V to kind of bring some of that dimension back. And then just again, my personal taste, I feel like I lost a little bit of that pink. So I'm going to go back in and just kind of dab on some more pink. Okay, so our eyeshadow is done. Okay, so I've just applied my eyeliner, my mascara, and my um, false eyelashes. For eyeliner today, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in black. And then on my bottom lash line, I've got the pencil, the Revlon Color Stay in black. Mascara, I have my Maybelline Lash Stiletto. Um, this is the Voluptuous. And then my lashes, I'm wearing the Andrea Mod Lash in number 53. And again, it's because to me they look the most natural. I wear these lashes almost every day. And I'm not really going for drama here. I just want something nice and subtle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my blush now. And I'm going to wear this NYX blush in a really soft um, pink naturally blush. Again, not too high drama. I don't need all the color. I normally like a really bright pink blush. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to do our lips. And I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner, and this color is in East End Snob. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use this Rimmel Lipstick in Heavenly. And it's kind of a light pink color, but it has a bluish undertone. And that's going to go really well, I think, with the purple. Okay, and then to top everything off, I'm going to use a little itty-bitty bit of this Milani, the 3D um, Glitzy Glam glitzy Glamour Lip Gloss. And this one is in Starshine pink shade. And these are like extremely pigmented lip glosses and chock full of sparkle. Let's see if I can get it. This one is the lightest one, so it shows up really light, but it's got a ton of glitter in it. Okay, so that completes my Easter slash springtime look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.